This college football picks week 12 edition of the sports gambling podcast is brought to you by bet 365 bet 365 is offering new users a thousand dollar risk-free bet sign up today at sports gambling bet 365 where we're also brought to you by hall of fame bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also about to do my game time. Game time has last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Use promo code SGPN for twenty dollars off your first purchase. And in honor of Veterans Day, everything in the merch store is ten percent off with the promo code Vets. All the proceeds from the sale will be donated to Mission Twenty Two, a nonprofit serving those who have served. This is Randy Cross. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Starting the show. Josh is not here. Oh, I didn't see, look at Colby's not even on the frame. Starting the show. Col- uh, Josh is not here. I got a million things to do. And right as Sean uh, is about to call my name, Colby's trying to show me a a, a way. A the giant. Godzilla of the seas. It's a it's it, oh, what can only be described <laughs> as if you walked up on the beach, you would think there was a beached whale, but it's a walrus. A gigantic. It's a baby fucking wheel. We'll, we'll man. make sure make sure you send that a link to Sean so we can put it in the post for the episode. <laughs> it it this is the Kelly LePepe of of walruses, I think. I mean drop down from the gods above. Anyway, uh, Colby, you're not allowed to talk yet. We haven't brought you. Oh. Joining Sorry. us here to talk all things college football, host of the college football experience, Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase, aka Pick Dundee. Double header Mondays. We got the college basketball out. Uh, got some Tuesday picks on fire there, and uh, doing pretty good college football. And fuego. All three of us went eight and five. All three of us, well, two of us hit one of our locks, so not not great with the locks. Got. I feel like there were considering we all went eight and five. There were a couple unfortunate results. One of which Washington, I mean, going in for the defensive (laughs) touchdown and just letting the ball. I thought we figured that out as, as athletes, not to just bad, bad beat, man. Deshaun Watts or Deshaun Jackson uh, crawled. So that motherfucker could, and how close was Duke money line? I mean, that was my dog producer. Josh also on it. The uh, plus thirteen never in doubt, but man, they almost pulled it out right. Uh, they they should have. That was an interception. The second straight year, Duke got robbed. Uh, yeah, by why it. don't they allow yeah. coaches challenges in college? They don't want to get. Or it how right. about if you're gonna review every play, review every fucking play? <laughs> all, right? all right. So college yeah. review is the most confusing because they're yeah. reviewing it all. Yeah, but yet, then they're not reviewing it. <laughs> yet somehow they make these just completely egregious mistakes. And, and I always find it ironic that it's like the team that they that for, I think for television ratings, like the like the Texas Houston game. Oh, uh, uh, clear everybody in the stadium, the 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 announcers, the coaches know that he got the first down. Are we going to review it? No, right? <laughs> uh, Duke intercepts the ball a minute left in the game. Yeah, I don't. I it's I, it feels like we have figured this out. You have. Instant replay to make it easier for everyone. Like, why would you yeah. not use it? Even crazier is like the ref started out with the signal of an interception. Then he says, "No, no, no, catch." So it's like at least even within him, you can see he's confused. <laughs> yeah. So you would yeah. say, "Oh no, let's." And you know what though? I I think here's a hot take for you, Colby. Maybe you'll. I I don't know if you'll like this or not. I think chip in ball technology that solves a lot of these problems. Comes to college first. Why? You don't have a, a sole arbiter who likes the drama of chains and slow reviews and tiny little <laughs> review screens. Oh, come on. T- the college won't even allow uh, radio headsets. You think they're going to no, be chip and ball that. guys? I love that, and I don't want that to ever change. <laughs> All right. Now, yeah, that that's that's what I mean. Uh, college is too dysfunctional for that to ever agree. Maybe yeah. one conference. Maybe one conference will do it. Uh, well, that's why, because they're, it's run by people with money who are fans. 
right? Like l- let's just hypothetical. This Texas A and M, uh, this booster club has so much money. They they are willing to pay Jimbo. What is the actual number, Colby? I've heard a lot. Uh, Seventy-seven million. He'll make eight, almost eight million a year being unemployed. It's a damn good job. Gosh. So they pay it to him over uh, over nine years. What Something would you like, do with yeah. a million dollars? Uh, I think I'd get two chicks at the same time. I feel like Jimbo <laughs> is that guy, just older. If he got into the coaching profession <laughs> instead of construction, I not all not all women are into money. Well, the type of women that would double up on a dude like me are. <laughs> Again, I mean, why do you think Jimbo Call brought me, in Bobby Petrino, a little tag team? You, I, what was that quote you were reading to CJ oh, about oh. Uh, a Deion? Can Sanders? you give me a second on that? And I will. Re- yeah, it was yeah. great overhearing. Colby and uh, CJ having their own. I mean, it's been uh, the bombs down under podcast. Great addition to the lineup. The chemistry between Colby and CJ. Great, great addition. But even there, also the entertainment of them talking to each other in the office has also been a great addition. Uh, this classic line by Deion Sanders back in uh, 2019. Rock bottom for me was having hundreds of suits and not covering the pain. Uh, rock bottom for me was having hundreds of pairs of shoes. But couldn't take a step in the right direction. Rock bottom for me was having ten cars and I wasn't going anywhere. Rock bottom for me was having a fourteen thousand square foot house, but not feeling at home. Rock bottom for me was laying between two, maybe three women at a time, <laughs> but ended up unsatisfied. <laughs> yeah, he's one of those guys who will Shout get out penetration. To Coach Prime. That was just amazing. <laughs> I, he, he treats women like the same as the transfer. He's he treats everyone the same way. <laughs> He's been he's been operating a transfer portal since he was a young man. So Dude, that guy was born to be a fucking politician. That is a <laughs> that is beautiful. Right I there. mean, he's either a preacher yeah. or a uh, <laughs> football coach. <laughs> hey, got a bunch of picks to get to, and you know where we're going to be getting down on those picks? Bet three sixty five, the world's favorite sports book. Trust me, over eighty eight million players worldwide. Sign up today. We got the QR code if you're watching, or the sign up link in the bio, or you can go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Slash bet three sixty five. Uh, if you're in America, a thousand dollar risk free bet or bet five dollars get one fifty in bonus bets. Also, our great friends up north, Canada. You guys can sign up for with a bet three sixty five. Support the sports gambling podcast. They got profit boosts. They got same game parlays. Early cash out opportunities. Uh, the early payout offer if your team goes up seventy points in the National Football League. Pretty awesome. Shout out to you, Bet365. Sign up today. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet365. Problem gambling. Call 1 800 Gambler. Massively plus EV. Uh, take the variance out of a comeback, like every Cardinals game, maybe. All right. I was talking about the 17 points. No, I was also going to do the little C's oh, I'm sorry. and I was doing the pause as instructed, right? You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all I right. got I got a million. We can do we can do I, I, I got to do two and a little C. We can talk a little C's later. We'll right, tease give, the pretzel yeah, crust. Give me <laughs> Stay tuned. We will be mentioning pretzel crust later in the show. Uh and and we should full disclosure, we're recording this during the beginning of Monday Night Football. Uh, while I don't have Cortland Sutton in the first touchdown market, I do have one of my three props was him on the anytime, and I think we're about to find out, Sean, that his feet were in on that touchdown. So I uh, hope so. Uh, uh, based on what the chat's saying, I think we're we're, we're going to get it. Let's go. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's talk some college ball. I'm kind of with Colby, by the way. What until no we radius? get a real playoff? Like I'm I'm in on college basketball. <laughs> If we had a 12 team playoff this year, maybe oh, it'd I be could great. Yeah. It'd be great, especially this year. Cause I feel like it genuinely is a toss. Can I hijack the o- show for only a second? sport in the world where, where the season gets worse as it goes on. Oh, wow. Uh, you know I mean? I, most way, sport- to, way to sell people on this well, episode. Mo- <laughs> most sports <laughs> stay tuned to week 12 yeah. episode. Yeah. Of course, this is worse than week three, four, it is. five. Well, I mean, look, uh, no, you're the, right. the fact that you have players that we don't know of Jalen Daniels is going to play for Kansas. He fucking opt out. You know, LSU has got nothing to play for. You can go team by team here, especially with this generation. You know what I mean? We're a soft generation right now. It, it's just a play, more yeah. people are out. Their team is out of it. If we had a 12 team, well, how many players sit now? You know what I mean? Like not, the little bitches you see it, not Caleb Williams. Yeah. There you he go. cares. Dog uh, real quick. Dog. Are the Hokies back? Not not like this I mean they're season. alive to w- not you know, this season. Have but you in seen general. the you, you, they in, can play for the ACC championship in, ge- in general? Uh, no, you they're know, still you, alive in the ACC. Dude, cha- it's like almost. So hear me out here. If oh. Louisville loses to Miami, which is the game we're about to cover. Oh, all right. Um, North Carolina loses to Clemson. Okay, very reasonable. Yeah, at Clemson, and they got to win. 
and they're home to NC State and at Virginia. Louisville doesn't play another ACC opponent. Carolina plays NC State at NC so State. So they're gonna lose out. No, it's, very, it's like a decent oh, right. shot that Virginia Tech could end up in a the, six leg parlay. Yeah. First leg, Louisville. Sorry, Louisville. I. By the way, Sean, I've yes. gotten multiple compliments on my pronunciation. Oh, they love it. Louisville. L- Louisville heads down to South Beach to take on Miami. Miami, one point home dog with that home environment, Colby. I assume this one's being played on campus. Plus 100 on the money line. Louisville minus 120. 46 and a half is the total. Isn't this letdown spot for Miami after keeping it close against Florida State? Like rivalry game. That was their big game. I'm afraid so. Now this is this is actually a good really good spot for Louisville, right? Yeah, especially because right. Miami's quarterback's injured and now uh You got my hopes up for nothing. Well, I mean, it's just it's, who knows. Louisville, Louis, Louisville will give you a lemon from time to time. You know what I mean? So they almost gave you a lemon against uh, UVA last week. Wouldn't shock me at all if Miami won this, but they'll probably be more Louisville fans here than Miami fans because they realize they're one win away from the ACC championship. Yeah, it's this is also like a great destination game if your team's good and uh, this team's been riding with some momentum. Doesn't you, the line stink? You can Isn't, get tickets for cheap. Wow. Well, doesn't doesn't the line stink a little bit here? A little bit. You're not worried about that? Nah. <laughs> what no do you mean, what do you mean it stinks, Ryan? You think Louisville should be favored by more? I think that's what Colby's saying. Especially knowing that Van Dyke's got to start now. The offense wasn't really going with Van Dyke. Um I mean, we're, I'm a market dynamics guy. I think you know, may, all the money is coming in on Louisville. It's not the the line's not moving. What what's going on? Why? Why I ask you? Louisville minus one. All right, Kramer. Very chalky. Purvis Ellison play of the day. You're saying leg one is I got to take Miami. Uh, go. Give me Miami. Go. Oh, Hokies Discord. are back. Discord avoiding a play. Oh, well, the Discord had a heater. I don't want. Maybe we don't give many plays this week. Discord is still thirty three, fifty two, and two. So that means our consensus plays are fifty two and thirty three so far in college <laughs> football. That's that's fucking bonkers. That's insane. You know how we and that includes last week they randomly went four and one even though. Every one oh, of us well, was eight and five. Well, Utah was one of those. So let's yeah, that's big true. asterisk there. And you know how uh, uh, they don't beat us? We don't give them any more plays. Michigan. Oh wow, Ryan's <laughs> Ryan's bleeding the clock against uh, Discord. <laughs> Michigan. Ryan's kneeling, Colby. Come on. Michigan heads to College Park, Maryland to take on the Terps. Terps plus nineteen, plus one uh, seven fifty on the money line. Michigan minus twelve hundred fifty one is the total. I really regret not having Cortland Sutton as a first touchdown of that Monday night football game. Uh, Will they let Jim Harbaugh out of jail? They they act like he's well, Nelson yeah. Mandela. What do you mean jail? <laughs> this is for him. He's a fucking best. But, I love that man. But so just where I, what I don't get is I, so where what's the popular opinion on are people for or against Michigan at this point? I mean, I'm for him because I do think it was it was bullshit. No, but, I mean even as know. a Penn State uh, half ass fan. I mean, I'm not gonna but, support Michigan football, but like what they did, clearly well, targeting. They 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 were going after him like, before the before. Yeah. Like, if you read into that's what that's the targeting that should be should be called <laughs> here. Right? If you read if you look into what he got in trouble uh, for the first time this year, uh, it's really silly. And and uh, and obviously getting caught with a with a truce like a college football spy probably not a good look. But come on, yeah, what are we doing yeah. here? Yeah, they're gonna ruin college football. Yeah, I know. They're gonna next they're thing gonna you know, be putting be, the chip in the helmet. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna be talking into fucking radios. Yeah. Oh uh, no! One, no one can hack a radio, huh? Delta Niner. <laughs> we are clear. Uh, so Michigan by a million. I I, I see the money lines twelve hundred. I, I make this money line minus a million. Uh, did you see the way? That Jim Harbaugh smiled like a wild, just an absolute wild dictator as the crowd at that hockey game was chanting free Harbaugh. <laughs> he was rock hard in his khakis. He was rock hard when he saw his players walking around doing the Jim Harbaugh shoulder pad smack and to pay to pay respect to him. This is how you go from being a leader of men to a fucking deity. And I was thinking about this. He is a martyr. All right. I've been a Harbaugh. I, like I, I was a fan of Harbaugh as a quarterback. I thought he played the game right. And out, out, more rushing yards than Bo Jackson. That, that, that's that's an amazing stat. <laughs> uh, you know, before I really thought he was going to leave for the NFL, but I, you, me- you guys remember, like this guy's like the ultimate competitor. Remember when yeah. he punched Jim Kelly in the face? 
<laughs> right? Uh, I, like, so I'm thinking like the NCAA picking this fight. I think he's gonna stay. I think he's gonna stay as a fuck you to the NCAA just because I know him to be the most insane competitor. You know, what do you think about that? Everyone's got him going to the NFL. I think he's pissed off by this. I think he wants to prove a point. I mean, he stays around. It, well, then there was talk about Michigan leaving the Big Ten. Like, what the fuck I, are we? Please, doing? please do that, Michigan. Blow it up. Please do that, Michigan. Jo- join the Pac-12. Uh, yeah, well, that's on the, the Pac-12. Pac two go get. Well, if Michigan goes to the Pac-12, no, we then all of a sudden we have three teams, and we can we can find five more teams. No, no, no we Michigan started solving there. this. We ACC. have the ACC is the Illuminate by adding. So who did the who did the ACC add recently? Like there were everyone SMU it's Stanford. Be, it's, it's random, Cal. right? Oh, it's yeah. so random. The ACC is losing, right? Who do they add? Cal and Stanford, yeah. basically. Like, uh, I mean, next no, thing, you, uh, who do they put on the case? Condoleezza Rice. Well, and and Stanford and George Bush. So you have Stanford, Cal, and and, and SMU, <laughs> which you know maybe the one of the richest schools in 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 the country. If they add in, again, if they can <laughs> if they can get Michigan and Notre Dame. No, I think that's the selling point for Notre Dame. We but add Michigan. Does Michigan need the Big Ten money? No. Some, some, some will say that they need it, dude. You, you know, I mean, come on, how crazy is college football when the fucking pre- former president of the United States <laughs> is true. is calling people to get SMU in the ACC and then <laughs> Condoleezza Rice? It's like what, what? Yeah. Insane fucking sport. What a time to be alive. <laughs> what a time so to be alive. Michigan, I. Part part of me says take them because they're just in fuck you mode. The other thing, though, are we worried? They had that first fuck you game against Penn State. No. Now this is a sandwich spot. Maryland going to Ohio State. We're not worried one bit because it's, Mike it's, Loxley. Uh, yep. So Michigan, since Maryland joined the Big Ten in the past uh, what ten years here, uh, Michigan 2015 28 uh, nothing in College Park. Uh, 2017, 35, 10 uh, in college park, 2019, 38, seven in college park, 2021, 59, 18 in college park. Now I'm not sweating this one bit. Penn Maryland's State's fucking like a, terrible. Penn state's an elite defense nationally. This is going to be like, uh, they, like they, they basically put the knife in the microwave, warmed it up and I, slow, I was, right through the butter. I was like doing a deep dive on how they, they, uh, they figure out strength of conference ske- scheduling. And I even think that that is completely jaded because they're honoring like Maryland's Mar- someone's got to beat each other in these shitty big 10 schools. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Rutgers is at six wins, but are they good? No. Maryland's at six wins. Are they good? No, but that propels Michigan straight the schedule. And it's hilarious to me because I, when I look at like your average CUSA team, I compare them to Nebraska. I'm like, yeah, they're the same team, but they don't give any, any credit to the CUSA win. Alabama is definitely winning the national championship this year. Um, yeah, Michigan. Lay you it. you lay have it. to lay it. Yeah. I these players are very fired up about this. If there's one thing, like I think part of the reason Harbaugh's oh, of course first touch. Uh, Harbaugh's been great because he always gets the mo- he maximizes his team and, and this is like the ultimate for that kind of coach. Like get, you actually have a boogeyman like the boogeyman that Colby's well, been and searching also he for. He can he can still <laughs> coach them up the entire week. No, but imagine if Colby actually found the boogeyman. How how re- uh, relentlessly annoying he would be about it. He hiding out in the super. Th- this is Harbaugh. He finally has like see, look, they're trying they to are stop after us. America's team is Michigan. Right? It's oh, no God. longer the Cowboys that's apparently. Gross. That's uh, gross. That is so that's, what, that's what Harbaugh said on the presser today. It is an upgrade. Yeah. It's an upgrade on the Cowboys. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, the Illuminati Conference, another l- a 9 a.m. kick here on the West Coast. We're heading to Memphis, where SMU and Memphis are, are uh, battling SMU minus eight and a half, minus three forty-five on the money line. Memphis Tigers plus two seventy-five, sixty-six and a half wow. is the total. Winner is probably going to play in the AAC championship. Oh, and. Are they letting them play even though they're leaving? Uh, yeah, they are. If nice. S- are you, you're assuming, it, I guess it, you're going to SMU then. No, no, I, I was. Memphis I w- is still in the conference next year. I don't know if you know that. No, I know that. That's that's your handicap. <laughs> tar- 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 well, I'm all back. over Memphis here. Memphis plus eight and a half at that Liberty Bowl. Hold great dog. stadium. Let's go. Um, great yeah. uniforms too. The, but for both teams, SMU's uniforms too. You know I, I, mean? I don't. So, so you're just you're simply playing the everyone's pissed at SMU. No, I actually think SMU. Has, uh, so SMU has not beat a team with a winning record. They're, so they're eight wins in. 
Really? Paper and now, Tiger? Now they play Memphis. I think Memphis is the better team. Uh I think they get it done in at the Liberty Bowl there. If it was in Dallas, maybe I'd take SMU minus no. points, but Memphis is yeah, they're tempting we as have a to, home dog. I'm not, I'm not careful. laying points on the road with SMU. Mm, Sean. Yeah. Let's review the case. Okay. Colby loves the Liberty What's Bowl. His priors? Colby <laughs> loves the Liberty Bowl. It it's, is one of the it's best. one of his favorite stadiums. It, it's a top twenty five stadium in America. This is like the opposite of the UNLV handicap, Sean. <laughs> All right, but I think we have to take SMU. No, I'm I'm sick with Memphis. Give me SMU. Really? Uh, yeah, Liberty Bowl's got a real soft spot in Colby's heart. Uh, uh, he was sold on George Bush representing a football team or a whole institution. No, I, you know what do you mean? On board. That's why well, he went you you talking about the president who walked out on the mound after nine eleven and fired fired, that fired a fucking skin. strike in there. Look, that was a baseball, but that was pretty awesome. Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice. He throws a fucking. Uh, he brings he, a football. He out can't of be mouth, fooled again. <laughs> fires a football at Jorge Posada. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, all right. I guess I accidentally let the Discord have Maryland. I just couldn't come to do it. Hey, uh, you know what I can come to do? Getting some little C's Monday night. Monday night football means it's time for some little Caesars, the official pizza of the national football league. What's better than the NFL? I'll tell you. Well, it's good. It's tied. My two favorite things in the world, national football league and little Caesars pepperoni pretzel crust pizza with piles and piles. It's, it's just, it's like a, it's almost like a, a, a armor of pepperoni guarding that delicious sauce and cheese. And then surrounded by the moat. That is that delicious pretzel crust, golden brown with thick little chunks of salt. Whoo! It is. Uh, it's just the perfect pairing. Highly recommend getting the pretzel crust pizza or your favorite little C's pizza. They also got the cookie dough brownie bites, little Caesar's wings, and you can get it delivered or in store with the pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesar's pizza, pizza. M- much better than that 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 hack Papa John. Oh, you know what oh. I mean? Speaking of, speaking of moats, I didn't even know that. You remember him? Oh yeah, you, you remember mean, him complaining about tax cuts when he had a forty-two bedroom house and a fucking moat. Uh, you mean, you have a moat, you should never bitch about taxes ever. All right? What was he? He was like a Kentucky fan and then a Louisville fan. Or yeah, Louisville was? first. It was the stadium was called Papa John Stadium. They uh, after his remarks, they changed it. They fired him, and he showed up to the Louisville Kentucky game in all Kentucky gear. <laughs> nice, fuck you. I do appreciate that. Yeah, he does seem yeah. like the kind of guy that would have uh, named his ant eater Peter. <laughs> that, that pop a call back to the college basketball yeah. episode. Well, went went I, deep with UCI. I assume everyone watches every uh, every episode. It's fair. Uh, yeah. All right. Moving along. Uh, Eleven a.m. on Saturday, heading over to Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania. Wait, this is uh, I. You made a mistake here, Harrisonburg, Virginia. But did I put Pennsylvania? In my where mind? James Madison <laughs> hosts App State. James Madison, one of the. S- how many undefeated teams? Uh, what six? I think six what? undefeated wait, 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 teams in the nation. Georgia, hold on. Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State. That's three. three. Washington, four. Liberty, five. and yeah, Liberty and JMU. Yeah, there we go. Two of those uh, schools in the state of Virginia. Uh, JMU not eligible for postseason play. College football is so dumb. Let J- them play. Hashtag J- free JMU. JMU minus eleven, minus three ninety five. App State plus three ten. 56 is the total. Something I, I saw, I was, uh, Reddit is great for just harebrained ideas on how to make college football better. And it talked about, so you know how um, the NBA is doing like an in season tournament? It, it basically pitched the idea that your non con is all like an in season or like an in state or in region battle where you're going against, like in a ladder format, you're going against only teams in your recruiting, like in your land. Yeah. It's, it's kind of what uh, was uh, the sport was built on. So you imagine you have three games where you're yeah. just battling like some of your closest geo right that, that I, I'm in, I'm in on that. Uh, this would be one of those battles. I think uh, JMU laying a big number here, Colby. They're pretty good. They, 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 uh, they've kept a good program. College game at the is going to be there. You see that? I, you gotta, we gotta be careful. I mean, can we call out college game day for not going to Corvallis? Yeah. What the hell? Because they're the ones excluding Oregon state from that, being that, part of the power. Is five? that what this is? What did Oregon state do to you? Linda Cohn? No, I'm joking. Yeah, well, I watch out for Linda. Cohn. You gotta be careful in JMU JMU land though. Um, Rad- Radford was, was known for like uh, the, the slight step down in caliber. JMU was the quality. 
And uh, dude, how about JMU? Everything, basketball, oppor- soccer, they're killing it right now. Opportunity uh, there. Uh, if you were going to hang out in JMU, there was a lot of talent. You know what I mean? A lot of opportunity. So we got to keep an eye on these uh, game day guys. One time I went to a party at JMU and I found uh, my, so my brother back in the day, he had a fake, uh, uh, his fake ID was just telling the DMV, (laughs) can you send me another ID? And then he gave it to me back then pre nine 11. That's all you had to do, right? It was a different time. Yeah. So you just get it in the mail. You don't even have to go to the DMV. No, no, they just send you copies. And and so then when I had turned 21, I gave it to someone uh, in the DC area. And then I was at a party at JMU where someone showed me that ID. <laughs> I was gonna say that if there's one thing the terrorists took away from us was shitty fake ID <laughs> and the ability to just like uh, there was a full outfit at Virginia Tech that just lam- made fake New uh, Jersey IDs. And there was, was like, like a, in DC there was like a like a, a fake like a ID. fake block a fake blockbuster you know like a like a ho- like a Hollywood movie rental IDs. place and they would that's where you go to get your ID and it was great because you'd always have to to come up with your name. And you just go to the movie boxes and you just p- compare names. My buddy Ralph, my buddy JP did Ralph Lambert. He just grabbed a, 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 a I think King Ralph, the movie King Ralph, and then just some other movie, and it was like Lambert. Dude, We're going dude, with kid, Ralph and Lambert. Now that they scan the IDs, it must be so. Like kids must have. Uh, it's what, terrible. What a different right? time. I know. Right? That's why all these kids are sniffing glue in the so, parking so lot. So we're laying yeah. the points with JMU, right? <laughs> No, I'm gonna take F State. No. F State's playing really good. F State's playing really good. And and do we JMU, trust F State on the road? Like I, I like them at home, but on the road, Colby. JMU went there and beat them last year. I think revenge is on the mind. App State's red hot right now, and I also think if JMU does not get that waiver, then App State's basically playing for the Sun Belt Championship. Do they get the waiver? Uh, Benedict uh, Dan I, I, told one of them. I have never had faith in the NCAA to do the right thing. All right, you know what I mean. Colby will probably give him a five year ban <laughs> for, this, for for just applying. This isn't an emotional play. I know you love App State. You love Boone. No, no, no. I think I actually think App State's red hot right now. I, I thought right. they were gonna fire their coach, but they've they've really turned it on lately. Give me App State. Yeah, you're talking me into it. Discord, enjoy jam you. Maybe uh, the Discord can watch it with uh former JMU defensive back, Patty C. Oh, nice. It is. Uh, I do sometimes reflect on um, just working in closed sp- spaces with Patty C, thinking this guy was a Division One athlete. Serial uh, in the YouTube chat saying, "Laugh my ass off." I had a fake ID from Jersey. Jersey everyone was, did. Yeah, that was when I was at Penn State. Everyone had one. Yeah, I had a real was, ID yeah. from Jersey. It was, it was just. Fucked. It was just a photo and laminated paper. It was well, the easiest thing to. Well, fake. that was the best one about my. Uh, the, you need the, a little bit of like special paint. Well, the yeah. mo- the movie rental place, like after like two weeks, your face, like the actual picture of your face, would kind of jiggle when you went there like this. It would it would just kind of slide within that within that card. So you'd have to hold that down when you give it to the the bouncer. A lot of fun, a lot of angles. You go to New York City, no one gave a shit when no. you go to New York City. I, I went to New York City and the guy asked for an ID. I gave him my uh, <laughs> Penn State ID that didn't have my date of birth on it. And he just goes, oh, he goes, I just, uh, it just wanted so to look just, at something. Just do me a favor, rack, rack up a good bar tab. Yeah, right? uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't care. Things really have gotten way softer. All right, so we're all on App State. Let's head over 11:30 a.m. on the West. Early kick down there in Arizona. Uh, that's got to be because they don't observe daylight savings like true rebels. Arizona, the Wildcats of Arizona hosting Utah. Coming off that miraculous wow. cover, Utah laying a point and a half here, minus 120 on the money line. Arizona plus 145 is the total. I have seen that some places have Arizona favored in really? this one, so perhaps a little two way money. I mean, Arizona's red hot. You want to talk? I mean, Noah look Fafita. Great. Noah Fafita at home as a dog, or or even a pick 'em. Utah on the road. Coming after that Washington State game, it, uh, Washington, not Washington State, Sorry, but, Washington. but but no, and and Utah. With them losing that game, they're pretty much eliminated from the Pac-12 championship. Yeah, it was a so dream I think game. this is the spot where Arizona takes care of business at home in Tucson. Love Arizona. They're not too soft to play Utah. I had last year's team. Yes, this year's team. I think they're a little. You're tougher. a little. You're a little worried about that, though, right? Nah, I think. Uh, well, Utah's not as yeah. tough on the road either. Yeah, but they're they're physical and they tend to beat up on some soft teams. Dude, Arizona is a fucking train right now, dude. All right, they're a fucking train. Look at that. They haven't lost since October seventh. Even that was an overtime to USC. I like them. Well, Who did they play last week? Remind me. Uh, they played the Buffs and won. Oh, that's right. Coach, poor Coach Prime. What, it was mean? such a great start. I love all these people. Are like, oh, what a disappointing season. No, a the disappointing. win total was two and a half or three. He smashed the over. 
You sound Sorry. like Giants fans talking about how they were ahead of schedule I never last once year. I thought the Colorado was going to win, have a winning record this year. And I, I did not w- at one time ever think Colorado would have a winning record. Yeah, unfortunately. Like at the end of the year. Unfortunately, they started fast and he ran his fucking mouth. And so now uh, everyone's like, disappointed. Buddy, he's going to be fine. Oh, no, he's going to yeah. have an insane yeah. recruiting class. Yeah. Insane. Oh, he's going to have to work on that offensive line. Give me Arizona. Yeah. You could, you could, you don't think Dion can recruit some Arizona line? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he recruited two to three women next to his bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was still wasn't. He satisfied. still wasn't satisfied, right? What do you think? He had- you have to know when to come. <laughs> Again, the man's been using the transfer portal for years. <laughs> Twelve thirty on the West Coast. UNLV heads to Colorado Springs to take on Air Force. Air Force laying three minus one fifty five on the money line. Money line. UNLV plus one thirty. Forty seven is the total. UNLV with a nice uh, little Friday night win last mm-hmm. Remember when Colby tried to talk us into mm-hmm. Wyoming because mm-hmm. uh, UNLV played in the dome. I did not mm-hmm. waver. I was on. This UNLV. is where the dome comes to get him. What do you mean? Yes. Oh, Air Force is lock potential. You're in going to Colorado Springs with your little dome, little pass. Air happy, Force has lost offense. two games in a row. They're going to have a chip on their shoulder. UNLV coming and off a win. And this is for the championship. This is to get to the championship yeah. game, essentially. This is and yeah. this is a great spot for how, them. How did UNLV look after the first quarter of that game on Friday? Not great. Not great. Yeah. They got started, up to a twenty-one nothing lead and then just coasted. I'm, I'm just going to pull up something here. I'm you gonna, got some. You got some data for me. I just want to know when the last time uh, the, the running Rebs went up to. Uh, He's showing me a walrus. Again, w- went up, went up to uh, Colorado Springs and got that dub. Um, let's go right here. When was it in Colorado Springs? Okay, 2013. They did pull off an upset. It's been ten, that long. Ten years ago, they so, did. Very short number. I'm all over Air Force. Aim high, miss small. All right. Yeah. Is that what they say? Yeah. Wow. So many people betting on UNLV. Really? Oh, that, I feel even better. What's the splits, right? What are the Vison.com betting splits? Sixty-two percent of the bets. You know what the score was last year? Air Force forty-two, UNLV seven. Dude, they're gonna butt. Where fuck. was the game? In UNLV. Vegas. That was in a dome. Maybe Air Force <laughs> a better dome team. Uh, well, the the year before, outside was forty-eight to fourteen. Okay. All right, so we uh, we're just loading up picks for the Discord. All on Air Force. We're fly boys this week. We're all. Fly oh boys. hell yeah! Oh, he's more of a army guy, but. I guess Fuck I can off. ride with the Air Force. Aim high. What's your you seem like a Navy guy to me. Really? Why is that? Because yeah. I like being uh, underneath Confined the deck. Confined spaces with guys in submarines. He he always sings that song in the Navy by the yeah. village people. You know, Belichick was a Navy guy, <laughs> and uh, he was a Giants DC for a long time. <laughs> when you won your little fake championships. What do you mean fake championships? Ah, uh, you know, Norwood misses. You didn't really deserve to win. Oh that. yes, um, let's go there. The, you know the boarding I mean? <laughs> of one of the greatest offensive attacks in the history of the in the NFL. <laughs> Just Bill Belichick at his finest. Navy guy. Before he got senile. Hey, Underdog Fantasy! If you guys signed up with Underdog Fantasy yet, if not, what are you waiting for? Underdog Fantasy, so much fun! Great way to get in on the action. Active in so many states, and you get the hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars when you use the promo code SGPN. It's great because you can get in on some college action as well. Will Lutz just cashed me a higher one and a half field goal, so shout out to me. Nice cash there can, over on Underdog Fantasy. May I recommend one that we play on Maction on Tuesday night in the sure. Battle of I seventy five, big time rivalry been going on over a hundred years. Uh, Toledo Bowling Green, the Quant Finn, the quarterback of Ooh, Toledo. So look, what are we doing? Bowling Green, this is a big time rivalry. Yeah, and Bowling Green won last year with when Toledo didn't have Daquan Finn. So this is his chance. Come back, senior year. Nice little fuck you behind it. Higher than one and a half passing touchdowns. Smash that. Smash! Underdog.com. Or, or sorry, underdog fantasy promo code SGP. And Colby, is there another play we can maybe tie it to? <laughs> uh yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Um because you gotta get in two and then you can get the plus three hundred code. How about we go to see oh, did Sean, you see you know Tennessee's what? defense? Right no, no, right here. Yeah. Look, right there. That's a we want to give Sean something that he wants. Lad McConkey. Yeah, well, oh, uh, love there's Lad. a name on the TC. Lad McConkey uh, is his name. And uh, look, over. Was that a. That's a TC oh, reference okay. there. Got we got to get those in Sean there. Sean Connery? The, oh. Higher, 63 and a half receiving yards for Lad? I actually would probably go touchdowns. Yeah, Ooh, go over. Spicy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so higher yeah. than. Well, it, 
one point two five. It is a little confusing. Uh, you see what Tennessee's defense did the other day? Nothing. That's what they did. Yeah, well. So if you take Daquan Finn higher one and a half passing touchdowns, Lad McConkey just to get a touchdown, hundred dollars turns into uh, pays three seventy five over on Underdog Fantasy. When you use the promo code SGPN, you get that hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Gonna make sure you're getting your consigliere taste of these. Oh uh, yeah. Because you know he's over there placing those. those yeah. Why do you Why do you think I'm forcing Colby to give picks for the audience? No, for me. Colby can't hear you right now. He's looking at the division two uh, uh, playoff three. bracket. This is three. Division three. <laughs> Thirty two teams. The way it should. Will be. Will if if someone wants to. Part- oh my God, Josh Allen is just loves throwing. If someone wants to play, uh, or will there be any sort of division three, division two college football pool? Going on, I think we should maybe a bracket. Yeah, pool? a little bracket challenge. Uh, you know that sounds like a good. Uh, yeah, you should you get that going. The Ithaca Bombers. It starts this Friday, so we need to get it going. All right. Um, let's talk about football. People actually care about though. Now, twelve thirty p.m. on the West Coast. Knox, and by the way, those first six games that was Colby's six pack, his favorite six crack games. Crack them open. Twelve thirty now on the West Coast, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, this I think this I think the people from Tennessee consider this a rivalry. Georgia taking on Tennessee. Georgia minus ten and a half, minus four forty on the money line. Tennessee plus three forty. Fifty nine and a half is the total. Uh, how can you? I don't know. I've I've been I feel like I've been wrong just as much as I've been right about Georgia, but uh, hard to hard to want to take Tennessee in this spot. Well, especially because Georgia seems to have just finally hit that switch of like, hey, we're just going to destroy Brock everybody. Back? No, they're not getting Brock. For, I don't think they need him back. Why? I don't think. Why bring him back in this game? I mean, I wouldn't bring him back either. Yeah, I because would. I think you're going to be fine. They haven't. They they haven't. Is that lost. a Julio McLaughlin reception? I think it was. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> they they haven't you know lost in Knoxville in in the Kirby Smart era. It just seems like Tennessee's still soft. I know they're playing a little bit different style of ball, but I mean, look at these scores in Knoxville: forty-one nothing, forty-three fourteen, forty-one seventeen. No, no. Tennessee we're not, we're not taking Tennessee. Tennessee is just Texas A and M of the North. <laughs> they, their their expectations are a, a different universe from where they actually are as a program. I I can't do anything but lay the points here, Sean. There's no handicap. I I I just am, I, I do also think that I'm very excited for the Georgia Alabama SEC championship game S-E-C. that I pre- I predicted. Um, mm, yeah, I did say LSU Griffin. Georgia. Mm. I I did. Uh, Alabama's gonna be playing for a national champion. We keep telling Colby he doesn't want to hear it. Alabama's gonna be playing. No, they can. I, I finally bought. You it. want the okay. prediction? If they can win the Iron Bowl, Alabama, uh, Georgia national championship game. That's my prediction. No, Michigan. Michigan's a free train. So and we're all and, and we're all in Georgia, all. right? I can't make yeah. a good case for Tennessee here. Joe Milton in a big game. I don't want any part <laughs> of that. Especially at this point in the season when the, basically the season sucks, like Colby was saying. You know, like the, no, the stay tuned for more picks. Yep. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> to the college football experience. Oh, is that another Julia McLaughlin catch? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> North Carolina head to Clemson, South Carolina, where Clemson's laying six and a half, minus two seventy on the money line. North Carolina plus two twenty. Fifty eight is the total. North Carolina made a real mess of that Duke game. I know it was a rivalry game. Maybe they were looking ahead to this one. Great test. Uh, I'll be watching this one closely as I evaluate Drake May. Uh, I saw a um, man D- Dabo really getting crushed. Did you buy stock in, in the in Clemson? Street. I I was not. I, I probably he said sh- buy stock and probably Clemson. smart too. I saw that. I mean, they are you know a solid program, but if you're not going to use the transfer portal in 2023. You're just going to die eventually. Well, no, I think you no, might in 24. The number is saying you got to take North Carolina. But I think you said part of my parlay is Clemson, right? To get the Hokies to where you need yep. to be, victory lane. Yep. Um. Yeah, give me Carolina though. They have too much offense. They'll be able to stay in the game. Clemson may win, but I think it's too many points. A lot of scouts in the building for this one. Dra- yeah. Drake may against the real defense. Yeah. Yeah. It's Colby. You're on Clemson. No, I'm on Carolina. I think Clemson could win, but I'm saying Carolina at six and a half is too much. Kramer, you're all on the Drake May train, right? I, I like this extended. I like Drake May, but this is classic like Mac shits the bed. Yeah, that's my concern here. Mm. He was. I don't know if you watched some of the post game stuff with Mac last week mm. after that emotional win. <laughs> you mean the coach voted most likely to visit Epstein Island? Yes. Give me Clemson. Dabo told me to buy stock. I'm buying stock. 
UCLA, USC. Uh, Wait, sorry, you're on Clemson minus yes. six and a half. Yes, I'll take. I'll take. I'll stick with Colby. I don't got a great angle on this, but it feels like this at least was going to be a game. UCLA, USC. Which, if you don't live in Los Angeles, I will say this game has a little bit more juice than um, than people would be. I think people would be surprised to, to to experience the level of juice this one has. Twelve thirty. Don't understand why they don't always play this one at night. Uh, this one's at the Coliseum. Yep. Yep. USC minus six and a half, minus two seventy five. UCLA plus two twenty five. Sixty five and a half is the total. I mean, Chip really made a mess of this season. No, he Chip pissed, or Lincoln he down his leg. Chip. Oh, Lin- Lincoln. Oh, they both did. Yeah. Uh, I would say this is. This is what Lincoln Riley was always going to come to. See, I, I would argue that 12. Chip. I, I thought Chip was going to take a step back. They're starting a freshman quarterback yeah, a lot of the that's year. Fair. Yeah, they do have Lexington. You Steel. know what it was? Yeah. We got excited because we had Carson Steele on. We, he had an alligator. It's he seemed like a cool dude. We wanted to hang out with him. No, I think there is. He'll a, be back next year. He'll I think. I think Colby's right. Like this was always the transition year. Maybe we got ahead of ourselves, but. I think they're primed for next year for sure. And I, and oh, and I think they're primed for this week after losing at home to Arizona State. That was the look ahead game. Yeah, they got the classic caught. look ahead game. Chip and Kelly always gets caught. How can yeah. USC lay points against anyone? They have no fucking defense. Well, who's the new yeah. defensive coordinator? Uh, for uh, oh man, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. But he's a stud. He's done a great job. Yeah. At, oh, yeah, USC. Yeah. Oh, I. I no, the, uh, d- any any reports of Oklahoma drills happening? Because the the issue with that defense is they don't seem to want to tackle or hit, yes, or play defense. So any sort of aggressive behavior in practice, maybe. Did, I mean, especially if they promoted a player. I I I'm actually kind Brian of Brian Odom. Brian Odom, don't don't. I assume he's a former. Yeah, the D line coach. And linebackers coach. Well, no, the, so they're gonna have Co. Sean Noah and Brian Odom. Yeah, you can't yeah. teach kids that are soft to become tough all of a sudden in no. UCLA. I kind of like UCLA's defense. Too. I like thought they, you were talking. More, that's what I'm saying. I thought oh. you were talking about uh, Lynn. Oh, they'll be, Lynn, they'll be, the, the UCLA defense coordinator. That's a stud. They'll be the more physical team. What what happens to Lincoln Riley next? I think it's a car dealership. Lincoln Riley is selling Lincolns. <laughs> think he's gonna last in the uh, the Big Ten. I mean, sure. I mean, no win enough. They'll be more talented than almost every he big. He puts up school. points. That's all those UC uh, USC, uh, you know, those <laughs> film film guys. Yeah. Well, my my theory. That's all they care about. My theory oh, is that my team scored points. Yay! He intentionally Yay! had a shill for a defensive coordinator so he could put up better numbers and consistently get Heisman Trophy mm. uh, winners, and then just always have the best quarterback. It wasn't worried about winning game. It was was worried about getting a sick job in L.A. So he brings well, his wife. He was house. probably looking forward to just traveling down the coast. And then when after a year, and he found out he was going to the Big Ten, he's like, "Fuck! Now I got to go to <laughs> Iowa City." Yeah, I'm going to cold places now. <laughs> hey, maybe you want to head to UCLA, USC. Here on our UCLA Bruins, you can do it. You can get tickets over at Game Time. That's right, not too late. For a super low price, and uh, it's backed by the low price guarantee. That's right. If you can find tickets in the same section row for less, Game Time will credit you 110 percent of the difference. Game Time super easy. Buy tickets in a matter of seconds. Two taps, and you're all set. It's uh, it's just great. Makes it super easy, convenient, good prices. What more do you want? Get out of your house. Go see the world. Touch some grass. Watch guys hit each other in public. It's fun. It's enjoyable and concerts, comedy. They got you covered. Download the game time app, create an account, use code SGPN for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again, create the create an account, redeem the code SGPN for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed guaranteed. All right. Big time rivalry here. Sunflower showdown. It's a wait. This isn't a basketball game. Kansas state heads to Lawrence, Kansas to take on Kansas. I will say the blue and red Kansas uniforms. They did throw me back to when they had the hefty lefty. Um, that was Kentucky, buddy. Oh, was it hefty lefty? Who, no, what, what, what? No, I'm thinking the fat coach for Kansas. Who was that? Oh, uh, what was his name? That was uh, Mangino. The, the giant Mark Mangino. Oh, Mangino. Who wanted Coach Leach's boys? That was yeah. when. That was the last time they were good. But anyway, they were rocking those same jerseys and and Kansas. Uh, those the underrated football jerseys. Kansas State comes to town, cool. laying seven. Uh, for some reason, the money line was not available. Fifty-six and a half is the total. I got the money line right here, plus oh. two fifty. All right, there we go. You got to take uh, 
Kansas here, right? No, really. You like K State? <laughs> Did you see what happened last week? Kansas yeah. probably would have won, but they uh, Jason Bean, their second string quarterback, got injured. Uh, and the third yeah. string quarterback came in, so now you have two quarterbacks. Bean, oh, I thought Bean was going to play. Is he totally? I mean, he's probable, but I don't know, man. I just think can't trust these he, college coaches. And what Jalen Daniels? Is it just we're, got, we're no, never he's, gonna, he's doing the James like the Harden Kennedy, thing. Kennedy yeah, he's doing the James Harden we'll thing. Never figure out. Yeah. Why, get, did, why do we get all in on this guy? And the, he opts out essentially. Yeah, football. Played two games. Where's he going? Uh, Alabama, probably or somewhere. Oh, you, like that. so he's transferring somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I'm starting to think yes because how it wasn't why, a why notable else? injury. It was like back spasm. So you think someone came in mid-season says sa- saying stop playing the rest of the season? We'll pay you to come here next year. Maybe, or it could have been something like Leipold likes his quarterbacks to run, and maybe he's thinking about his pro career, and he says, hey, hey, "He's not going to be a pro." In the his mind, in his mind, he thinks he is. Oh, they have those consultants they always talk about. He needs to enter himself into the consultant thing so they can tell him you're an undrafted free agent. Kansas State's Shut in fuck, fuck you up. mode, man. You get right now with the uncertainty at the quarterback spot. Yeah. You have to take K State right now. Of course. And and it does seem like something's in the water in Kansas. These quarterbacks just Kansas. keep going down. You guys Kansas are crazy. State. Home home dog rivalry games. Auto play. Mm. Third string quarterback's pretty rough. I'm just saying that's the, it's a pretty strong reason. He to said go he's against. probable until he gets Bean, knocked out. Mister Bean will get it done. Washington heads to Corvallis, Oregon, take on Oregon oh. State. The final member of the Pac-2, Oregon State minus one, minus one twenty on the money line. Washington plus one hundred sixty-three is the total. Uh, this this line. I, I thought we were going to be getting a home dog here. I thought yeah, so this is too. annoying. The market's gotten too smart because normally this would have been Washington like minus three back in the day. Washington's supposed to trip Coming off here, a nice win. I'm starting to think Penix is going to make the playoff. The legend grows. He might, but not right here. The Beavs with the chainsaw, the turnover chainsaw. Uh, yeah, it's a last night game. time. Look, well, this is this is it. You win this game. You're you in, set right? your no. You set yourself up for next week. Against if Oregon. Oregon, Oregon State controls their own destiny, you win out. You're in the. You're going to be in the Pac-12 championship. That it might. They might lose next week, but it ain't going to be here. Oregon you know, State minus one. If Washington didn't have that blunder where the kid drops the ball, and so even in a winning moment, they don't have this like very clear like we need to stay fucking focused mm. coaching moment. I would be with you, but give me Washington. Really? I just yeah. can't get away from taking uh, Oregon State at home. I mean, you, they just don't lose in Corvallis. I, but I think that that uh, I, I'm, I'm well. Gonna, you are the let, coach, Ryan. Let's be chalky, or I, I will be chalky. You yeah. guys can be um, lame, and uh, you know, take a, this. Should you guys should have you? You're laying points. Washington shouldn't be the dog either. Wrong team fi- favorite. All right, another four thirty p.m. kick on the West Coast. We're heading to Columbia, Missouri, for a bat. I mean, this is the kind of thing you you stop on the internet to watch when a Gator fights a Tiger. <laughs> minus eleven and a half for Missouri. Minus four eighty five on the money line. Florida plus three seventy. Fifty nine is the total. Real no show by the Gators last week. Uh, Billy Napier out. Are they firing? Have his they ass? showed up at all this season? I mean, you would the think fuck? you got to win this. A hot coach. You got to win this or Florida State. Are you going to go five and seven? You went six and seven last year. Uh, this is this is make it or break it. These next two weeks, I think they cover here. Really, Mizzou Talk just me beat the it. piss out of Tennessee. I think Mizzou wins, but I think Florida is good enough to stay in this game. I mean, Mizzou by like seven, eight, three. 10. I don't know. Those what are all numbers Florida, that cover Florida Interesting. covers. Interesting. Kramer, what are you doing? Uh, Florida looked like ass against LSU. I mean, why would, why are we, what, what, what's different? Actually, they were in that game until like the final five minutes. I feel like they yeah. looked like shit. Maybe I'm Billy Napier. Maybe I've got something emotional. Maybe he cost me some money earlier in the season. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a take other than he's a piece of shit. You're a big Graham Mertz guy though, right? I'm going Missouri. I guess this, this Florida team sucks. You like Graham Mertz still? I like him to cover 11 and a half. Oh yeah, give me Missouri. Graham Mertz is trash. I like this. If Missouri. they were at home, if they're a home dog maybe. Gators don't go for this far north. That's I know one thing. 5 p.m. Look that up in your Walrus dictionary over there, <laughs> Texas has the Ames, Iowa for Iowa State. 
always the weird road trip uh, for any team, let alone uh, a team from the South. Texas laying eight, minus 300 on the money line, Iowa State plus 240. 48 is the total. So I assume this is not Quinn Ewers. This no, he's is, playing. Oh, he is playing. He's not a hundred percent, but did you get the news about oh, their star I, running back out for the year? Because of the draft or just, he got no, hurt he tore his ACL oh, Jonathan right. Brooks. Does that matter? Uh, they, they don't have another one right behind him. I mean, they probably do have a good guy, but uh, considering that they just I lost Bijan and Roshan Johnson in the draft, I thought they should have, uh, Gotten bit by I Houston. Am a East Carolina fan. <laughs> Sorry, you were just kept saying. I, I, I thought uh, no, they 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 should have lost to, to Houston, or at least that game should have went to overtime. They've been living on the edge for quite a while here. The Kansas State game. I don't know why Kansas State goes for it from the four yard line. They they had all the momentum in the game last week. I thought TCU was in a spot to get him. This is the one. Really, Texas. Texas has. Oh, has, you know, you know, Colby has a beef with Texas. They've He's lost never the pick last him. two in Ames. You see what I you see what I was taking last week. So what is the current situation in the Big 12? Who can still make the championship? Iowa State. This is right here. Oh, I yeah. They did Iowa put it on BYU in Utah. That's a, well, it, I, I can State, Oklahoma State still make it? Yes, if they went out. Okay. Oklahoma so State goes. How did Iowa State I have futures teams? on both those teams at like 40 or 50 to 1. This is excellent. Give me Iowa State. Yeah. I'm not a hedger. They are a live dog. Well, he's going to burn down on Saturday night. Get ready. Ames, this is an yeah, come on. This is an all Texas shits the bed. Hey, before we get to our lock dog and tease, shout out to Hall of Fame Bets, the revolutionary parlay optimizer. Have you signed up with Hall of Fame Bets yet? What are you waiting for? Help you bet smarter, not harder. Hall of Fame Bets has you covered. Break it down leg by leg. Uh, expect a probability for the entire parlay. They got you covered. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app. Or visit hfbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. All right. Da, 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 da. Final. Oh, lock dog tease, Sean? Yes. We got the lock, the dog, and the tease. Football. I am sorry, hit the, hit the wrong one there. <laughs> it's okay. Happy birthday. Kramer, what do you got? We're not all perfect. I lock Michigan minus 19 and they're just going to run the ball and win by 40 points. They didn't run the ball like 20 oh, times. So in a row. beautiful. How do you not adjust? If you're James Franklin, load the box, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like, they made zero adjustments in that game. <laughs> just m try one deep shot. I mean, it's, uh, it's he's I compared him to the Kirk Cousins of college football coaches where I like that he comparison. does good enough that he's tough to fire. Yeah. But you know this piece of shit's never gonna get you to the college football playoff. <laughs> but he's gonna win you nine games. You can tell he had some serious money on he it. Can I love tell that. he's yeah, gonna win nine <laughs> games for you. Nine games. How about you cover against one Michigan or Ohio State? I'm not asking for the cover against both, but one you fucker. <laughs> Sorry, it's really annoying. I was UCLA, buying in the Drew Aller. UCLA. Not, not gonna even learn how to pronounce his last name. He's gone. Uh UCLA plus six and a half. Chip has done well in this match. Or in this game, not not always against Lincoln. Dog, uh, Iowa State. Let's go. Ooh. Tease. Arizona up. Oh, it's college. We don't do smart teases. App State up to 17. Georgia down to six and a or four and a half. Okay. And give me Washington plus seven. Alrighty, for me, Air Force Academy. Laying three, lock it up. Other team I like is Arizona at home. Nice home dog spot for them. Lock that up. For my actual dog. I do, I'm with I'm with. Kramer, I do think Iowa State is a live dog. You can take UCLA if you want. Yeah, because uh, every all the other dogs are pretty short. I'll take UCLA on the money line. What a way to end the Caleb Williams experience. Four T's. Iowa State up to fourteen. Are you kidding me? At home. Wow. Like, so on. many key number. Spot. Key number at twelve. Spot. Right through it. Uh Memphis, also a home dog, up to fourteen and a half. Actually, no, screw that. I'm going Georgia minus four and a half. And then uh, 
Michigan down to 13. Come on. What are we talking about? Colby lock up the Memphis Tigers plus eight and a half <laughs> lock up Oregon state minus one. I like that too. The dog plus three ten is the Appalachian state Mountaineers. They know college game days there. Ooh, the tease Michigan minus 13. Yeah. UCLA plus 12 and a half. Memphis plus 14 and a half. That's like a fucking Picasso right there. <laughs> All righty. That feels pretty fun. Do you want to any parlay? I feel like a UCLA, Iowa state oh, parlays. Yeah. In uh, order. Oh yeah. I could, I, I would, uh, I'll move uh, to, do you want, do we want to throw app state in there too? Is that dangerous? Uh, I mean, or, or the Georgia bulldogs. Oh, you're putting favorites in there now. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're doing money lines because App State live on the money. Line. I think they are. All I right, just so took then, them as my then round robin it. All right, we'll do App State, UCLA, Iowa State, round robin. Love yeah. it. All right, love it. Hey, let's let's make sure we get that in out, out at the circuit. I want this in a paper ticket, Sean. I like that. I like that. And I like you, the audience. Hey, toss us a nice five star rating review. We could use some more five star reviews. I see the downloads. I know. I know you guys are digging the show. Don't be a slacker. It takes two seconds, and it makes the world a difference. Tell a friend. Always appreciate that. And get in on the Patreon. You get all the pick sheets ad free, very easy to access. And you get in on the Patreon pick them. We will be announcing the ladder uh, prize winner pack uh, coming up soon, and uh, tons of uh, pick them contests as well going throughout the season. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green. He's Ryan. Ah, good show, guys. Kramer, let it ride. I thought that was the reckless one. Well, just because offensive schemes dictate. He's got one tackle. Oh, no. Cost his co worker. Should have put Will Lutz in there, Sean.